Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well. Thank you so very much. Appreciate you all. And welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged. Some it's not. And the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. So um, Fox 11 is reporting this story about a L.A. music producer that just got hit up, y'all. He was sitting in his car and they said a homeless woman just walked up to the car and took him out. Okay, y'all. Um, his name was Ep um, Williams J. Edwards III. Okay, y'all. And um, the part that's getting me about this whole thing, I'm going to play the news report to y'all so y'all can hear it. But the part that's getting just tripped out to me is they're not showing the person. And every time something happens, the first thing that the news be doing is, oh, it didn't have anything to do with the migrants. But now this woman is of age. She's not underage. Now, I can see if she was underage, they wouldn't show her. But they're saying that, you know, she's of age to be shown. So why ain't they still showing her, y'all? And I got to tell y'all about some other stuff that I am hearing that's not sounding too good that's going on right now. Um... So far, there has been a couple of teenagers, y'all, that has gotten taken out by um, migrants. And they, they got it on the hush-hush, y'all. A lot of stuff is going on. So y'all be careful right now. This is what I was telling y'all about. People just owning buildings now and throwing them in their buildings. You know, um, remember I was telling y'all about, you know, that building in Chicago that they broke in and stuff. Well, the owner went on and let them in and turned the lights on and heat on for them and all of that stuff. See, they... They don't understand that a lot of people that's coming here, um, they don't know anything about them. And th th that's the part that's not good, okay? Migrants has taken lives of a couple of teenage females, y'all. And they are not saying nothing about it or they won't show them when they do a crime. And I don't understand this right now. Like some of them they're showing, but some they're not. But I want y'all to listen to this real quick. Listen to this really, really quick. What she's saying. Yeah, and I just got off the phone. These people don't want to go on camera, but they do confirm what police say. The victim is William J. Edwards III. He works in the music industry, had a recording studio, a small one in Hollywood, and his Instagram says he works with artists like uh, Little, uh, Little Cobain, O.J. Marco, Travis Scott. He was here in the morning in his car with his headphones on, and here's what people say they heard and saw. Watch. He wasn't moving, and I was just like, what is that? What she saw on her way to work inside this dark vehicle parked off 29th Street. I saw a guy dead in this black car. It was the body of 46-year-old William Edwards III, shot to death shortly after 10 in the morning while sitting in his vehicle on 29th and Ocean Park. Santa Monica police saying they have arrested a suspect, a 27-year-old homeless woman identified as Kayla Denise Mackey. Everyone was um, freaking out, basically. Everyone walking past going, damn, not in our, our beach town? Like, we don't want, you know, we don't want this happening. Especially with publicity surrounding crimes involving suspects described as homeless. From a Santa Monica council member attacked while walking on the 3rd Street promenade last July to the arrest in November of 24-year-old Adrian Jose Dugas for allegedly carjacking a group of people on one of the city's parking lots. The motive for this shooting remains under investigation. The murder of a man sitting in his vehicle around 10 in the morning is struggling even with an arrest. Been here over a decade. So, so. so you've seen... Yeah, more and more issues, right? Mm -hmm. Over in recent times, for sure. Does it worry you more than it normally would? Yes, definitely. Of course. Really lovely around here. It's been beautiful. Like, that was just a terrible way to start your day, see a dead body. If this was just about an argument you had, somebody's dead now. 
Williams family saying they don't want to talk to media right now, uh, but they do confirm he is the father of two young sons. Again, this whole thing's still under investigation. Anyone with any information is asked to call Santa Monica police. I'm Christina Gonzalez. Back to you guys in the studio. Now, what don't make any sense? First, somebody said that it was just a homeless person that walked up to the car and did something to him. Right, y'all? Then somebody, then she just said it was an argument. Okay? <laughs> y'all, you see how the story keeps changing. Then they asked for anybody to call in any information on the incident if they know anything. But the thing of it is, why ain't you showing the person who did its picture? Then maybe somebody can call y'all and tell y'all something. But as, if y'all holding back information, then how can somebody call y'all and tell y'all, oh, I know this female, or I seen this happen, or whatever, 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 when you are not even putting the person who did it, picture up, y'all. That's been arrested, okay? Now, I don't know what they waiting on. Is they waiting to um, file charges on this person and then release the picture? I don't know, because you know several times that, you know, people have done this. They won't put the picture up until people start just, where's the picture? Where's the picture? So we can see who did it. So we can see. Um, They're not putting the picture up yet. Now, they did say she was taken into custody as a suspect. 29. I think they say she was 29 years old. She's old enough for her picture to be shown. So if she's taken into custody, y'all, ask yourself this question. Why ain't they showing her picture if you're asking people if they know anything to say something? Every time... The migrants do crimes now. It's like a cover-up. They like trying to hide some stuff. Okay, y'all. Now, let me go into this story that um I was just told about, y'all. Just told about this story. And this is ridiculous. Okay, y'all. Um, let me pull it out really, really quick. So... I'm hearing that about a month ago, a 16-year-old cheerleader was, you know, stuck, you know, with a knife, okay, to to till she passed away. So she was hit some, several times, okay, in her home by an illegal migrant, okay, y'all? <clears throat> this is what they're saying. They're saying the female, the 16-year-old, and her mother, they live in Etna, Texas. This is where she stayed at. Um, When they found out who did it, Okay, they said that this migrant was placed in Sh Sh Schellingburg, Texas, but instead he ended up where she was from, some kind of way. He was in this area, okay, and I don't know how far Etna is from this other place, okay, but they said after he took out this girl, he was texting her friends and her family. So I don't know that he get her phone or whatever, whatever, whatever. But um, why in the world would a, a, a migrant, <laughs> illegal migrant, take out this female, 16 years old, and then have her phone texting her people? You know, it's, it's a lot of weird stuff going on, and nobody's talking about a lot of stuff that's going on right now, y'all. But the only way that they were able to catch him is because they, got, they caught him on camera. They caught him on camera, but they still have no clue why he did it. They have no clue whatsoever why he did it. then there was a second um teenager that was attacked and taken out by another a migrant okay y'all um this is starting to happen a little bit too much and now that this female then walked up to some man in the car with his headphones on because if somebody got some headphones on i don't see them arguing with somebody because he's listening to music while he's sitting in his car but this woman just threw out a little extra talking about, oh, it was an argument. Nobody that they witnessed that was standing outside that witnessed anything said that there were arguments. But this news reporter just threw that in there just to throw people off to make it look as if, oh, he knew the person. But they won't put the picture up to let you know if he knew her or not. Y'all, it's some weird stuff going on. And why in the world is they protecting the people that's coming over here? You know, if they do a cram, you put it out there like anybody else. If it's somebody in this from this country do a cram, they, they throw their pictures out there. So why can't you do the same thing for anybody else? And I, I don't know if it's a migrant that did it, but it seems like it for them to be hiding something. I'm just saying, y'all, there's some weird stuff going on. And y'all be safe. Please be safe. And be careful of anybody just walking up on you.
okay? Just like I was showing y'all the pictures of the people at the beach sitting out there just getting some fresh air, and then the boat just up and pop up at the beach, and people start jumping out the boat, changing clothes, and, and running into the crowds, you know, and running into the neighborhoods like, la di da y'all be careful, please, okay, y'all? Anyway, y'all, um, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And uh, may he rest in peace. We don't even know what's going on with him, but maybe they'll tell let a little bit more information out a little bit later. They're saying it's a developing story. So maybe they'll let, you know, release her picture in a minute. Okay, I don't know. But we shall see. Okay, y'all? Anyway, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.